Hi friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots and today I'm sharing Choco Chunk Cookies for Gnome Accessories if you'd like to make them stick around. As always, please like this video so I know you're here crafting. So I know I'm going to get asked, this is a hot cocoa gnome I've shared. It is a no-sew pattern and there's this really fun tutorial on how to make his little tiny cocoa cup with whipped cream. I'll put both of those tutorial links down in the description box. But to get started, you just need a work surface and some clay. I'm using a chopstick as my tool there and I'm also going to be using a box cutter or a clay knife, whatever you have. I'm going to pull off little chunks of the light brown clay. I am using Sculpey. It's my favorite clay. You can make the colors by combining white uh, with other colors or you can just buy like I do pre-made. I do tend to buy a lot on Amazon so I'll put my favorite links below. So I'm going to create about one inch circles for my size gnome. Don't make them too thin. Whenever you have cracking or breaking, it's usually because it was worked a lot or it's because it was too thin. So once I had those made, they are uneven. I'm gonna show you them from the side so you can see. I want them to be very organic, right? Because cookies are not perfectly symmetrical. I then cut off chunks of the dark brown clay using my little box cutter there. Now to get this pliable and sturdy, what we want to do is make indentations using our chopstick into our cookie. I know it seems weird, but you know, when things are baked into cookies, they're not perfect, right? So there's some sticking out, they're different heights, and that's the look I was going for. Cookies are also not smooth, so I used the chopstick, and you can see from the side here, see how they're uneven, they're bumpy, they have ridges. I'm using the chopstick to add a little bit of depth, a little bit of dimension, and to add like indentations and lines, and you know how the dough splits a little bit? I'm just putting that in with the end of a chopstick. All right, so I'm also going to tell you, you can take the time to make chocolate chips like you know the little nestle toll house chocolate chips okay so if you're going to do that and you want them to keep their shape you're going to need to make them really solid and sturdy bake them ahead of time and then put them into the cookie and bake it all again i know it seems weird but i just that's not really beginner i figured this was a little bit easier but you can see here from the side this is before i bake them now one tip about baking i make a lot of stuff with polymer clay i absolutely love it from charms to decorations and gnome accessories Bake it per the package instructions and let it cool down completely in the oven. Do not remove it. Once you have that done, you can glaze them with a little bit of sealant or leave them as is as I have here. Thank you so much for joining me. I would love to hear what you think of this easy craft. Again, down below, I'm going to put all of the tutorials I've mentioned here today. And as always, thanks for being here. Please like and subscribe for more crafty fun.